Water is essential for agriculture and livestock. Even in places where it rains frequently, not all the water remains in the place where it falls. A good portion evaporates and is carried away by the wind to other regions. Some of the water goes away as rivers and streams. Another considerable amount is absorbed by the soil and becomes underground streams. The water stored in them is extracted through wells and pumped to the surface by using electric pumps of proper capacity. The pumps require a large amount of electricity, which has a high cost. In addition, it is desirable to reduce the consumption of fossil fuel in power company plants, and this is accomplished by taking advantage of the energy coming from the sun. This kind of power is called renewable or green energy. This not only saves money, but our planet benefits from having less air pollution. To convert the radiant energy from the sun into electrical energy, solar panels are used, which transform the light coming from our sun into electricity. A typical solar pump installation consists of an array of solar panels oriented in such a way that they can get a maximum of solar energy during the day. It is important that they are located where no shades from trees, buildings, elevated tanks or other obstacles are present. The initial investment in the equipment is very small, considering the great benefits obtained. The components to be installed are the array of solar panels, which is also called a photovoltaic array. Normally, in an installation of this type, no connection to the power company grid nor batteries are required. A controller device is used to take full advantage of the energy delivered by the panels. A submerged pump is placed inside the well in such a way that it does not lose contact with the water and works as long as there is water in the well. Once in operation, maintenance costs are minimal and the operation costs practically drop to zero. Systems of any size can be built as needed. The system must be designed taking into account the water available during the year the volume of water required for the surface to be irrigated, an area free of shadows to install the panels. All these factors require a professional study in order to achieve the maximum efficiency at the lowest possible cost. The typical operation would be as follows. At sunrise, sunlight begins shining on the panels and they begin to generate electricity. In small quantity at first, but it increases as the sun rays hit the panels at a more perpendicular angle as the day approaches noon. The submerged pump, which can be either a centrifugal or volumetric pump, is designed to operate at a lower pace when it gets less voltage and gradually increases the operating pace to its maximum rhythm at midday. In the evening, the speed of the pump decreases until it stops when the energy produced by the panels is not enough. The whole system adjusts itself during cloudy days, so the capacity of the pump is used in different degree depending on the sunlight available. This is basically the way a solar pump system works. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.